Greetings. Here with you again this morning. Um, I have another gift for you today. It's not a digital one. Uh, it's actually more of a gift of information. So um, you have had numerous people reach out to me asking like what are simple things that I can do that don't cost me any money and that can help reduce anxiety and stress. So um, I'm going to share a couple of mudras, which are basically um, hand yoga, um, and a way to move your body and the energy in your body into a way that's really super supportive. Um, I feel like my karmic kindness shirt. I was cleaning out some drawers and I found it. I forgot I even had it, so I thought I'd wear it today. And my New York Empire hat, um, just showing a little love to New York. I know that everyone across the globe is... Um, you know, is having a tough time, but um, New York in particular has really, um, really been in a, in a bad way. And uh, I've talked to numerous friends that live there and just kind of a little bit of love to them. Um, anyway, so on to the mudras. So I have this book that I love. I refer to it. You can see all my little tabs here. Um, Mudra, Yoga in Your Hands. Um, that I love um, by Gertrude Hershey. It's been my go-to book for a number of years now and I've, I used it myself um, I probably got it about five years ago when I was going through um, a healing process and then through um, a tough time within the um, the disentanglement and, and dissolving of my marriage and subsequent stepping into this new life it's been really helpful I've had a few go-to's that have um, really been supportive and um, I wanted to share some with you today that might um, offer you that same sort of sense of support so the first one is the Ganesh Mudra or Ganesha however you uh, would prefer to pronounce it and it's basically um, a way to um, open your heart and to give you um, a, a way to tap into that inner sense of strength and courage and um, you know, be able to approach people going forward with an open, friendly heart and really strengthen you from within. So you start with your left hand and you're going to take your left hand and put it up to your chest, like your heart center facing out and bend your fingers a bit and then take your right hand in front of it and, you know, clasp them together in front of your heart. And you're going to breathe. Pretty simple. Um, so your elbows are out, I don't know if you can see that, so you're just kind of, it's like a straight line, like your arms are in a straight line, and as you're breathing on your um, exhale, you're going to pull your hands, your fingers against each other. So you're going to like uh, attempt to pull your hands apart, but not keep, keep them together. And as you inhale, you're going to release. So on the um, exhale, you're pulling. Inhale, releasing, exhale, pulling, and you're gonna do that six times. When you're done with your six, you're just gonna kind of hold it at your chest here, just rest your arms, and then you're gonna switch. You're gonna put your right hand out at your heart center, left hand grasping, same thing. You know, with yoga, if anyone who does yoga, you know it's all about balance and keeping everything equal. So, arms again, um, in a straight line at your heart center and you're going to you know breathe in and it's released and relaxed exhale pulling and you do that six times and then you just lay your hands down let your arms rest just breathe gently and easily um, if you want to take it one step further and like really get things started is visualize the color red in your mind's eye as you're doing it or a visualize a, you know um, a red bubble around you whatever feels good to you um, just visualize the color red tune into the color red that's essentially firing up that um, firing up that part of you, firing up that heat within you, you know, igniting your inner fire and really being able to approach this time with a sense of strength and courage and um, really heart centered. Um, okay, the next one. Um, it's actually kind of two or three in one, but um, I just wanna, there's several variations, but I'm gonna share one particular one with you today. And it's the Anyana and chin mudras. So the anyana is basically um, 
I'm basically going to take your 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 thumb on your pointer finger on both hands and stretch your fingers out okay so when your fingers are pointing up this is the receivership position and when they're pointing down it's the giving position so um, the cool thing about this particular these particular mudras and this version of it you can also do it with your fingers together but that has a, a little bit of a different um, meaning to it but if you when you have your fingers in this position, so it's kind of like the okay position, but you're just turning your hands in, in a different direction, like this. Um, you have three extended fingers. These three fingers have a meaning. Um, it's evolution, uh, I'm sorry, it's the, um, the three, these three facets. So um, lethargy, which is basically just being very like tired and still, um, activity, balance and harmonies so balance and harmony are one and i honestly don't even know which fingers are related to which i'm sorry i don't have that knowledge but um it's kind of cool if you think about that related to where we are right now and what's going on in the world with the pandemic um you know we're in this place now of, of lethargy where we really aren't active in the way that we're norm we would normally be active um but we're gearing up to have more activity come into our life we're gearing up for the next phase like i said we're in that intermission we have had act one and act two so act two we're gearing up for and we're bringing a balance and harmony between the two between being still and being active and um that's i just think was so beautiful about this and then the circle um of this particular mudra is all about union which is the foundational basis of yoga so it's really about uniting all of us bringing everyone in the world not just in your community together it's really um really powerful in my opinion right now um and this particular mudra you know the two variations of it are um about the evolution and this is a quote from the book the evolution in the macrocosm and the microcosm in motion. So it's basically all of us doing our part for ourselves and for the whole and um, creating a motion, creating a movement, creating an energy that's a lot more supportive and courage and strength based versus fear based. So for this particular mudra, um, it has a really positive effect on your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies. So anytime you're feeling a little off or you need a little bit of support, you, you, know, you can hold your, your hands up. If you need some, you know, you're looking to, to bring a little bit more into the world around you, you would have your hands down. Just hold it in that position. Um, again, if you wanna up level this a bit more, you can visualize the color white. Um, the white, according to Gertrude Hershey in her book, is the void in which fullness is concealed. So I feel like right now we're in that void and the fullness of what we're opening up into is concealed from us. White is also symbolic of birth and death, new beginnings and endings, um, or you could say completions if that feels better than endings, um, unity and peace, which also feels really great. Um, and it also clears your mind and brings peace to your soul, which I think all of us could really benefit from right now. And if we want to take it one step further, like even further, doing this, these particular mudras, either the Jnani Mudra, and I, hope, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that completely correctly, um, you know, this version or the Chin version this way, um, is to also do the Shambhavi uh, mudra, which is a, um, a mudra that is connected with Hatha yoga. And you're basically going to look up, and also, just a little tip, this is gonna be super important for us going forward. I have some other really cool things uh, to share with you coming up. Um, so just kind of put this in the back of your mind for some, something that may be important later, so you'll already be ahead of the game. So essentially what you're going to do is you're going to look up, like you're looking into your, um, your eyebrows, okay? So it's gonna feel a little weird, but as you look up, what's happening there is you're calming your, your body, you're calming your nervous system. It reduces stress and you're able to transcend your mental 
um, activity in your mind where I think all of us are spending a lot of time in our minds thinking about what's going on worrying and wondering and planning and all of that like it really relaxes you so if you just look up into I don't know if you can see it you just look up into your eyebrows and keep it there until your eyes start feeling tired and then relax your eyes just keep breathing through it and take a breath maybe close it out with a chin mudra resting your hands on your thighs which is something I forgot to mention before but when you do either the either version of them you're resting your hands on your thighs and just breathing you'll find your body will calm your mind will calm uh, you'll just feel a lot more in balance a lot less in a state of fear and worry um, yeah, so I hope that's helpful for you today. I know this is a rather long video. Uh, I also wanted to, to let you know I'm going live on Facebook and Instagram on um, Friday at 10 a.m. Uh, I have some other exciting stuff that I want to share with you. So I hope you have a fabulous day. I will see you tomorrow morning and again live on Friday morning. So uh, let me know how this feels to you. Let me know if this is helpful to you. Let me know what else you want to see. Um, remember, we all learn from one another. I hope you're having a fabulous, fabulous morning so far. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.